<laughs> Let's get started today um, laying down on your back. So just a simple conscious resting pose. You can keep the knees bent up toward the ceiling. You can kind of let the knees knock together um, just so you're totally relaxed. As the knees knock together, you'll feel the hips kind of scoop under and you'll really feel rooted through the sacrum and the low back and that's what we want. Let the hands rest on the stomach or along the sides and close the eyes. So we're just here for a few moments. Gather yourself onto the mat, ground down into this space. So 45 minutes of conscious movement. So we're starting conscious resting and then we're going to create conscious movement. We'll set the foundation with our breath. Take a full inhale through the nose. You'll feel the stomach expand and grow. And exhale, full release. Let the back root deeper into your mat. And again, just like that big breath in through the nose and out through the nose. One more breath here together. The inhale, lift through the belly button, but stay rooted through the spine. Exhale, deflate. You can flutter the eyes open if you want, or keep them closed, whatever you're comfortable with. Pull the knees into your chest. Take a couple of rocks side to side. Just a little movement along the spine now. Come into stillness. Squeeze the knees, ankles together. Bring the legs to 90, and then cactus the arms at your sides. So you can bring your arms fully open wide or bend the elbows 90 for cactus. Take a breath in, keep the legs actively um, like magnets together. On the exhale, drop the knees to the left, but don't let them touch the ground. So we're taking a supine twist without fully relaxing into it. The inhale brings you through center. And then exhale, we dip the knees to the right, but again, keep them from tapping onto the ground. So this is more of an active movement, warming up our core muscles. Exhaling into the twist, inhaling through center. So you can take it faster, slow as you'd like. We just letting your breath be the momentum to your movement. <laughs> We'll just take one more on each side. So if you feel any pinching along the spine as you're twisting, that's just a sign to take a little bit more shallow twist. Last one, either side. Don't worry too much about matching them. We'll meet back in the middle. Drop your feet down onto the mat. Heels hug in close to your seat. We'll move through a few bridge poses. Again, as we're warming up, we're looking more for activation and um, strength rather than flexibility. So don't worry about pushing it too far just yet. Um, arms by your side to start. On the inhale, lift your hips up to the sky, reach your arms overhead so they point toward the wall behind you. And then as you exhale, drop the hips, bring the arms back by your side. Again, like that, inhale, lift the hips, reach the arms up overhead. And exhale, hips down, arms by your side. Last time, inhale, lift the hips, arms reach up and over, hold here this time. See if you can lift the hips a little bit higher, rolling up on to the points of your shoulders. Hold here and then start to take circles with the hips. So you're going to press them to one side, down, and then up and around. So it might feel a little silly, but again, all of these movements in the beginning, we're just looking to bring some movement through the back before we take all this stuff deeper. So let's switch directions, hips out, down, and around. Bring it around, down. <laughs> One more, whichever direction you're going, we'll meet in the middle, last breath in, lift really high, and then exhale, drop your seat down to the floor, hug the knees into your chest, take a couple rocks and rolls back and forth, little momentum come up through your seat and we'll meet in tabletop. So shoulders over wrists, spread the fingers wide. Middle finger points toward the edges of the mat to relieve some pressure on your wrists. For cat cow, we'll take two rounds the regular way. On the inhale, drop your belly down, pull the heart forward. 
Seat rotates to the sky. Exhale, arch the spine toward the ceiling, gaze between the thighs. And then again, inhale, make a U shape through the back. Heart pulls forward, sits bones spread toward the ceiling. And then exhale, cow or cat pose, big tall arch. Come back to your table, drop onto your forearms. This might feel a little vulnerable, but don't, don't worry. We'll take two rounds cat cow like this. It's just gonna force you to take the stretch a little bit deeper on your inhale. Press the belly button toward the thighs. Look forward. And then exhale, press into the elbows, the forearms, puff between the shoulder blades. Again, inhale, belly toward the floor, look forward. And then exhale, look between the thighs, press into the elbows. All right, back onto the palms, back to our tabletop pose. Ground down through your right palm here. Inhale, left fingertips to the sky, heart opens to the left, look up toward your thumb. Next, exhale, thread the needle between the right wrist and the right thigh, dropping down onto the left shoulder and the left ear. So you wanna keep the hips level, reach your right arm forward. So fingertips spider walk toward the top of your mat, pulling the right side body open. Take a breath in. Exhale, see if you can add a little extra length to the side body. Bring your right palm back to the floor beneath your shoulder. On an inhale, open up, reach the left fingertips to the sky, hold here. Option one, left hand pops to the left hip. Option two, take a half bind, your left hand wrapping around the small of your back. Now keep your bind hip or around the hips. Resquare the chest down to your mat. Start to press into your right palm, puff the back up just like cat pose. And then you're gonna roll all the way up, pulling your shoulders over the hips. So I'm gonna move so you can see. So I still have my bind. Take your right hand, grab your left hand. So you're kind of pulling your fists toward the back of your right hip. Take a breath in to get long, try to lift up out of the hips. Exhale, drop your right ear down toward your shoulder so you'll feel a stretch along the left side of the neck and shoulders. Inhale, lift the head to the sky. Exhale, drop it to the other side. Inhale, back to center. Release the hands, reach your arms up overhead. Maybe a tiny little back bend, pressing the hips forward, opening the heart to the ceiling. And then carefully really engage the core as you lower back into tabletop pose. We'll take the same thing on the other side. So this time the left palm is your base. So on your inhale, reach your right fingertips to the sky. So open the chest to the right side of the room. Look up toward your right thumb, another breath in. On your exhale, thread the needle, coming down onto your right shoulder, right ear. Take your left hand, check out the hips, see if they need to level out so they're square with the mat. And then extend left arm forward, tiptoeing the fingers inch by inch to the top of the mat. Lengthening out left side body, your inhale expands the rib cage, the shoulder space. Exhale, stay, start to come out of it. Plant the hand beneath the left shoulder. Inhale again, open up to the right, fingertips to the sky, hold here. So hand comes to the hip or half bind around the hips. Square the chest down to the mat. Start to press into the left palm, big arch of the back, chin tucks to your chest. And then start to roll all the way up let the head be the last thing to lift. Shoulders stack over your hips. Hands clasped together. Fists are pulling right behind the left hip. Take a breath in, get long. Exhale, drop left ear toward the left shoulder. Just let gravity pull the head. Don't force it too deep. Inhale, lift the chin to the center. And then exhale, drop it to the other direction. All right, inhale, lift the chin to center, release your bind, arms reach overhead, maybe a little back bend here, keep really tight core if you're bending. 
Keep the engaged core. Pop back down into tabletop. Tuck your toes under. On your inhale, lift the knees up to a hover. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. You can move the hands, the feet around to find a comfortable down dog and start to walk it out. Bigger little steps within your down dog. Bending, straightening the knees and settling into stillness. On the breath in, lift up both heels, look between your thumbs and take a bunch of tiny, tiny little steps, penguin walk, straight legs all the way to the top of your mat, coming into a forward fold. Big bend in the knees. You can keep your feet where they are. You don't have to widen them. Just take a nice deep bend, kind of a modified ragdoll. Hands can just rest down on the floor, but fully relax through the upper body. See if you can kind of feel your belly sort of resting in the space on the inner thighs. Take a breath in here and a full breath out. Add a little extra length through the back. On your inhale, super slow, all the way to stand. High Mountain Pose. Reach your arms up overhead, get super tall. Root down through the flat of both feet. Grow tall through the fingertips. Take a breath in and just settle here on the breath out. Your inhale is staff pose. Pull your left knee into your chest and then exhale. Big step back. We find an airplane arm lunge on the right side. Arms are brushing back toward your left heel. Really deep lunge through the right side. Left hip drops down to meet the right. Hold here for the inhale. Lengthen from the low back to the crown of the head as you exhale. Now lift the chest, the arms. Inhale into high lunge. Nice and deep high lunge here. Take a breath in. Open arm twist to the right on the breath out. Let your right arm pull the heart open as it sweeps toward the back wall. Try to rotate your palms so they face the ceiling. This is gonna help relax the shoulders here. Stay or exalt your warrior on your inhale, reaching the left arm up and back. The right arm finds the back of your left thigh if that feels too far away. Just bring your right arm to the outside of your right thigh. So a little back bend here, take one more breath in. Arms stay wide open. As you exhale, left arm drops to the floor beneath the shoulder. We find an easy twist. So now we have three points of contact, both feet, left palm. The right fingertips reach up to the sky. See if your gaze can follow. Hold right here. Option to take the stretch a little deeper, rolling onto the knife edges of both feet to get a little deeper into the hips. We'll Take one breath wherever you are. As you exhale, drop your right arm to the ground inside the right leg, the right foot. So your palm is right at the instep of the right foot. Start to spiral your left foot so the knife edge is parallel to the back of your mat. We're gonna open right into extended side angle. So this is a pretty deep movement. Our goal here is to have a low lunge if you try to peel the heart open, hand is on the ground and that feels really impossible, just pop your elbow up onto the top of the thigh and we we'll just get a little bit higher through the upper body. Look up to the sky if you can. Hold here for a breath in. And stay for the breath out as you exhale. Reach your left fingertips forward so we create one line from the left ankle through the tips of our fingers. Remember this feeling in the upper body because we're going to return here. Press into the feet, squeeze the belly muscles, inhale, reverse your warrior, reach up and back. Try not to move the lower body as you lift the chest. Take another sip of air here, straighten the right leg. We'll exhale nice and slow into your triangle pose. So reaching as far as you can forward, popping the hips toward the back of the mat, lengthening the right side before dropping your right fingertips to the floor. They can come onto the top of your right shin or block underneath the right hand. 
Nice job. Again, look up. We've been looking up with our neck a lot. If that feels bad or your neck's starting to feel fatigued, you can always just look down at the right leg. Let's take a breath in. Stay for the breath out. Really press down through the feet. Little micro bend in the right knee. Inhale, reverse triangle again. Reach up and back. Try to lift up and out of the right hip. We're gonna take a triangle variation here. So as you exhale, move slow. Bring your right hand to the right shin. Keep an engagement through the right knee so you're not pressing hyperextended through the leg. So hand on the shin, but don't dump your weight into that hand. Now start to reach your left arm over the ear forward, just like we did an extended side angle. Chest starts to peel open to the sky. So we're adding a little deeper spinal movement. If you feel really low, you can drop your right hand to the floor on the outside of the right leg and the hips kind of press toward the left and you'll feel again a little bit more of a back bend. So whether it's deep or shallow, just take it. One more breath in. Carefully as you exhale, drop your left arm to the floor, chest spirals open the right leg. Pull your left heel up over the toes like a high heel on the back foot. And the chest melts over the right thigh for our modified pyramid. On your inhale, pop onto your fingertips, pull the heart forward, lengthen the back. And then again, exhale, let the chest fall over to the right knee. All right, inhale, bend into the right knee, plant your palms. Exhale, step back to a high plank. Hold your high plank for the breath in. And then exhale, down dog, send your hips up and back. Take a breath in and a breath out. On your inhale, kick your left heel to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, let the hips stack, left hip over right, opening and expanding through the pelvis. Re-extend the leg, square off the hips, take a breath here. Nice and slow, left knee to your nose and plant your left foot between your hands. We're just passing through using this as a transition. Look to the top of your space, take a breath in. Exhale, step the left or the right foot to meet the left, forward fold. On the inhale, lift up halfway. Nice long flat back here, tight core. Exhale, relax. And then inhale, roll all the way up to stand high mountain pose. Fingertips brush the ceiling. And just root down, settle in as you exhale. We'll just jump right into the other side. On your inhale, staff pose, right knee lifts. Exhale with control, big step to the back of the mat, airplane arm lunge. So core is really tight. We're not resting on top of the left thigh. This pose should be really difficult. We're using it to warm up the whole body. Lift the right heel up over the toes, inhale. Crown of the head inches forward as you exhale. Now sweep the arms up, lift the chest. High lunge, keep the low body as it is. Stay here for the breath in. Open arm twist as you exhale, heart opens to the left. Flip the palms to face the ceiling, let the shoulders relax. Stay right here or inhale, reach the right arm up. Left hand finds the back of your right thigh or underneath the left thigh. Take another inhale and then exhale into your easy twist. Right arm drops to the floor beneath your shoulder. Left arm still opens the chest as it reaches toward the ceiling. Stay or roll onto the knife edges of the feet to add a little extra length through the hip stretch. Last breath. As you exhale, left arm meets the floor inside the left foot. Palm right at the ankle. Start to spiral your right foot so the knife edge of the foot parallel with the back of the mat, full foot is planted. When you're here, start to peel the chest open into your extended side angle. Your shoulder is pressing the knee so it's opening the hip. Can 
pop a block under the left hand or elbow up on top of the thigh. You want to make sure this feels good. It's a good reminder that yoga is a feeling and not supposed to be a shape. So don't stress about how it looks. Take a breath in. Right arm pulls over the ear. Right arm or right fingertips pull forward, full extended side angle. Press into the feet, inhale, reverse your warrior. Reach up and back. If you had a block, just leave it where it is. Again, inhale, this time straighten into the left leg. Exhale as triangle, nice slow transition. Finding length as you're moving. Hips pop back. Left hand to the shin, your block or the floor. Look up if you can. Adding a spinal twist by gazing to the ceiling. Hold here, nice and strong. And long through the left side. Engage the legs, press into the feet. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Find space between your hip bone and the top of your thigh here. Now here's our variation. Exhale, just like we're moving back into triangle. Left hand finds the top of your left shin. Right arm reaches all the way up and over as if you're reaching for something at the top of the mat. And then you can start to peel the chest open like you're adding a little back bend. Heart opens up to the ceiling. If you feel really deep, you can drop your left fingertips to the floor outside of the left shin. Any pain in the back, that's a sign to take a step back. If it feels good, try to open the heart a little deeper. Last breath in. And carefully as you exhale, right arm drops to the floor, chest squares to the mat. Pull your right heel up over the right toes. Find your modified pyramid pose. Use the fingertips as the base for the upper body. On your inhale, press into the fingertips, pull the heart forward. Don't worry about having a super straight left leg. Exhale, melt the chest down over your thigh. And then again, press into the fingertips, pull the heart forward. Exhale, start to plant the palms, bend into your left knee. On your inhale, step back to your high plank. As you exhale, pop down onto the forearms, forearm plank. So we're not here too long. Try to challenge yourself by pressing the palms down into the mat rather than clasping the hands together. Remember, you can always drop onto your knees if you feel stronger that way. Not stressing about the shape, stressing about the strength, right? Tight body, one more breath in. Drop into sphinx on your breath out. So lower the hips down to the floor. Your elbows stay rooted beneath the shoulders. Palms are pressing into the mat, kind of pulling the heart forward and open. Stay engaged underneath the feet and legs. See if you can press so hard into the top of the feet, the knees lift. Big breath in. Stick with it on the breath out. So we have a kind of funky, different transition here. So staying in Sphinx, you're gonna kick your right knee up toward your right elbow. So don't worry how high up it gets. This is just helping the transition. Um, it doesn't need to be a really deep frog stretch. Press into the palms to lift the chest up. Left hand's gonna cross underneath the right arm to grab the uh, right leg, knee or quad. You're gonna bend, the, let your body drop onto the floor, holding hand and leg, roll over so the chest opens up to the ceiling. Let the right arm open wide. So we're coming to a supine twist. So again, kind of something different in the middle of our classes. Let your gaze follow the right arm looking over the right shoulder. Surprised I've gotten the rights and lefts correct so far. <laughs> Take a breath in here. Full breath 
out at the bottom of your exhale. Start to unwind. So rolling back onto your belly. Come back into your sphinx pose. Pose. Just kick your right foot back to meet the left. So again, if that was kind of difficult or hard on the back, you don't need to pull the knee up as far. Take a breath here in sphinx. Other side as you exhale, pull the left knee toward the top of the mat. Press into the palms, lift up the chest. Right hand crosses under the other arm to grab the knee or thigh. Start to drop onto the right shoulder, rolling around. Oh, I did mess up my rights and lefts. No, I didn't. Left arm opens up wide. Let the gaze fall over your left shoulder. Again, supine twist. Nice spinal health. Little break here in the middle. Take one more breath here. Stay with it as you exhale. And then at the bottom of the exhale, start to unwind. Coming out of the pose, meaning back in Sphinx for one breath carefully shooting the left leg back to meet the right. You guys will have to let me know how, how that went. I kind of stumbled through that description. So from our Sphinx pose, inhale, pull the heart forward, forward, forward. Exhale, drop the chest down onto the mat. Pull your hands back, plant the palms on the floor between the shoulders and the elbows. Toes tuck under, re-engage the whole body. On your inhale, either high plank or tabletop, Lift the body off the floor, and then exhales, down dog. Shoot your hips to the sky. Hold here for a breath in, and a full breath out. Press into the palms evenly. On your inhale, kick your right heel to the sky. On the exhale, bend the knee, band the hip open. Stacking right hip up over the left. Send the heel back to the sky, kicking the leg long. Square the hips, take a breath here. Exhale, super slow, knee to nose. Plant your foot between your hands. Low lunge, just passing through, look to the top of the mat. Inhale, broaden the chest. Exhale, hop into your forward fold at the top of the mat. Hang loose, hang heavy. Press into the feet, inhale, halfway lift. See if you can feel some of the weight kind of come into the front side of the foot, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to stand. Lift the arms up overhead, high mountain, and hands to heart center. Take a moment to reset. Press evenly into the feet here. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, slow controlled swan dive to the floor, forward fold, halfway lift, on the breath in, long back. Exhale, plant your palms, step or hop, high plank. Just hold for the inhale, we're passing through. Exhales, downward facing dog, hips to the sky. On the breath in, kick your right heel to the sky, nice and high. Exhale, knee to nose, hold the plank, you, uh, pull the quad toward the belly. Inhale, look between the thumbs. And then exhale, drop your right foot between the hands. So a little hidden core work in those transitions. Now we're going to move into warrior one. So step your left foot a little closer to the right. Left heel meets the floor. Keep the bend in the right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up to standing. So warrior one always feels kind of strange. Try to pull the left hip forward. Again, arms overhead as you inhale. This time, exhale, clasp the hands behind the back. We're working toward humble warrior. On the inhale, press the knuckles toward the left thigh. Lift the chest to the sky. And then slowly as you exhale, let the chest drop toward the top of your right thigh or maybe slightly toward the inside of the right thigh but keeping your right knee stacking over the ankle rather than letting it open up to the side. So if the knuckles stay rooted with the low spine, that's great. If they start to lift up over the shoulders, that's great too. Try to relax the head 
Really bowing forward. Bring the hands back to the low spine if they're not there. Release the grip. Inhale, sweep the arms up back to warrior one. Now, take your back foot, another foot closer to the right. So we're in a super, super short stance. Straighten your right leg. Uh, pull the left hip forward. So our hips are perfectly square with the top of the mat. Right hand to the right hip. Left arm reaches up toward the sky. Take a breath in. We're setting up for a revolved pyramid here. So as you exhale, so slow, reach forward, forward, forward. Use your right hand to guide the right hip back. Eventually, your left hand meets the right ankle. That feels good. Fingertips to the outside of the right ankle. And if you feel balanced, you can start to peel the chest open to the right. So think about using the right elbow, pivoting the elbow toward the ceiling, opening the heart sideways. If you're there, you feel balanced, try to reach your right arm up to the sky. So press down underneath the feet, press them down and away from the center body. This will help you feel balanced. Stay where you are. If you extended the right arm, bring the hand back to the right hip. We're kind of coming out the way we came in. Chest drops toward the floor, square the heart to the mat. Reach the left arm forward like you're gonna grab something in front of you. Bend into your right knee. On the next breath in, launch forward all the way down to the right leg. Kick your left foot up behind you. We're in a warrior three right hand on the hip. Now, reach the right arm forward. So both hands are forward. Lift the left heel. Bring the left hand to your hip. Bear with me. We're right, we're going right into our half moon. So carefully drop your, oh man, I'm wiggly wobbly. Drop your right fingers to the floor beneath the shoulder. You can always grab your block and come right back into it. This time, left elbow guides the heart open as you point it up to the sky. We've been doing lots of half moons in our class, kind of taking a long hold. You can extend the left arm up to the ceiling. Try to lift up and out of the right hip if that makes sense. Take one more inhale. <laughs> Carefully, as you exhale, keep the left hip open as you lower the left foot to the mat. We'll meet in star pose. Heels in, toes out, arms to the sky, chest and hips wide open toward the left wall. Take a breath in. Horse pose on the breath out, just for the exhale, so sit really low. On the inhale, right back into star. Parallel your feet. We'll set up for a wide leg forward fold. Hands come to your hips here on your inhale. Lift the chin, kind of press the hips forward. Maybe you have a little back bend here. And then tight core as you exhale, forward fold over the legs. We can release the hands down to the mat beneath your shoulders. The crown of your head's down on the floor. Try to wiggle the feet a little closer together to lift it up so we can continue to stretch deeper. Take a bend in your knees, try to rotate your sits bones to the ceiling, keep them there, then start to add a little straightening. If that worked and you felt like you stretched deeper, do it again, bending the knees, rotating the bum to the sky, and then straightening the knees. You'll feel the belly start to come deeper and deeper between the legs. Maybe one more time, bend the knees, rotate the bum to the sky, and extend the legs. All right, hands beneath your shoulders. Inhale, lift up halfway along back. Walk your hands to the top of the mat, low lunge. Heel toe, right foot outside edge of your space. Drop your left knee to the floor. So we're in our lizard variation. And moving on from here. So we're gonna work into the twist if the bind isn't there. Don't worry about it. We're just making the movement whether or not we make the connection. 
root through your left palm. Inhale, reach your right arm up overhead and then toward the back wall. Flex your left foot. Use the hamstring muscle to pull the left knee toward your glute before grabbing the foot. See how high you can pull the heel. And then if the connection's there, grab hand to ankle, kick your foot into your hand. Rather than pulling on the ankle, if you kick, that'll help to open the chest toward the right side. And again, if the bind isn't there, see how long you can squeeze and reach before releasing the toes to the ground. So bind or no bind, Let's just take one more breath in and then come all the way out of it on the breath out both palms to the floor tuck your back toes under lift that knee up take a breath in as you exhale step back to your high plank passing through hold for the inhale and then down dog on your exhale send your hips to the sky we'll take that on the other side and then we'll slow it down crossing into the hands Inhale, kick your left heel to the sky. Exhale, curl your knee to nose. Hold here, pressing the ground away with the palms. Squeeze knee to nose, look between your thumbs, and then drop your foot between your hands. Low lunge here. Setting up for warrior one, step your right foot a little bit closer to the top of the mat. Deep bend in the left knee. Reach the arms up to the sky. <laughs> Use that sweeping motion to lift the chest. Bend deep into the front leg. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands clasp at the low back. Switching the grip so it feels a little bit funky. Open the heart as you inhale, pressing the knuckles back, lifting the chest. And then humble warrior as you exhale, low body stays the same. Curl the upper body over the left thigh. Little micro bend in the elbows wherever the arms are. Try to relax the neck, giving it a break, letting the head hang heavy, and that'll challenge your balance a little more. Bring the hands back to your low spine. Release the grip. Inhale, warrior one. And again, shorten the stance even more. Setting up for our pyramid variation. Straighten through the left leg. Make sure the hips are nice and square with the top of the mat. Left hand pulls the left hip back. Inhale, reach up through the right arm. As you exhale, start to bend forward, seeing if you can stay as long as possible through the right side body. And then bringing your right hand to your left ankle. Seeing how that feels, maybe left hand to the out, or sorry, right hand to the outside of the left ankle. When you find your depth, then start to take the twist, using the left elbow to pull the left shoulder up, opening the heart toward the left side of the room. If you feel super balanced, try to look up, maybe extend your left fingers to the sky. So revolve pyramid is a really tough pose on all fronts, flexibility, balance, strength. Be easy on yourself. It's a good thing if it's difficult. Take a breath in. Return left hand to the hip. Let the chest square back down with the mat. Bend into your left knee. Reach your right arm forward on the inhale. Launch into your warrior three variation all the way into the left leg, kick your right heel to the sky. Reach left arm forward, pull right hand to your right hip. Left hand drops down to the floor beneath your left shoulder. Use your right hand to guide the right hip up over the left, opening up into your bouncing half moon. Ooh, when you get there, Maybe extend right arm to the sky. You can kind of use the arms as wings to help find balance. Take a breath in. Keep the right hip open. Bend into the left knee. Step back, star pose. Heels and toes out. Take a breath in, grow tall. 
Force pose on the breath out really low, just for the exhale. Inhale, star pose again. Align knife edges of the feet with the short edges of the mat. Hands come to your hips, just like before. Inhale, lift the chin, maybe the hips press forward a little back bend. And then dive into your second wide leg forward fold. Take a bind this time, hands to the outside of your calves, your ankles, or maybe you kind of slide your hands underneath your feet. And kind of use the arm muscles to pull the chest deeper and deeper between the legs. You can close the eyes here for a moment if you're comfortable. Bottom of the next exhale, release the bind carefully if you're standing on your hands. Hands come beneath the shoulders, inhale, lift up halfway, re-engage the core, the back muscles. And then exhale, walk your hands forward, coming into left side low lunge. Heel toe, left foot outside of your left pinky, right, uh, right knee drops to the floor. So again, setting up for our lizard with our bind. Right palm is our base. Inhale, reach left arm up to the sky, opening the chest, twisting the back first. Now reach your left fingertips toward the back wall, let the gaze follow. Flex your right foot, use your leg muscles, pull your right heel as close as you can toward your seat. And then if it's there, bind left hand and right ankle. If it's not there, just reach, reach, reach as long as you can before releasing. If you have the bind, kick your foot into your hand. That keeps the legs engaged and pulls the heart open. One breath in. And we'll all release on the breath out, back to your lizard. Right toes tuck under, lift up your right knee. Take a breath here, exhale. Step back to your high plank, hold it for the inhale. And then exhale is down dog, send your hips to the sky. Take one breath in here, full breath out to relax. Start to lift up the heels, look between your thumbs and hop or just gently step to a seat. So we'll set up to take um, full double pigeon or variation. Um, you don't need any props today, so we'll just jump right into it. So we'll start with the right shin crossed um, in front of the left. Flex both feet. So I'm going to show you the variation first, and then we'll build and take it deeper as, you know, as it feels good. So for the variation, it's kind of like a loose crisscross applesauce. Feet are still engaged and you'll lean forward, letting the chest kind of fall between the legs. So if that feels good and you want to take it deeper, that's a sign to stack right ankle on top of the left knee. The shins will look near parallel. They don't have to be perfectly parallel. So here's our second variation. Um, we don't need a prop again. If you have a big gap between the right knee and your left ankle, take your right hand, just wrap it on the outside of the right quad and use it for some support there as you bend forward as well. So kind of a little manual support. My hips are really open, so I actually can just kind of bend over, but don't be afraid to take a step back again. We don't want any bad pain, good pain only. <laughs> So settling in, can stay pressing into the palms as you lean forward, you can drop onto the forearms, just like we would in our supine half pigeon, or not supine, sorry, um, half pigeon. Keeping the feet engaged will help us stretch more active muscles and protect, protect the joints. Let's take one more breath here and a full breath 
out. Try to completely relax the upper body as you exhale. And then we'll carefully come out of it, walking the hands back to the shins, switching it out. So again, starting with the modification, a loose crisscross applesauce, left shin in front of the right, feet are flexed. See how this feels first, just letting the chest fall over the legs. Feels really open. Take it a step further. Left ankle, top of the right knee. Shin over shin, flexed foot. Maybe left hand grabs underneath the left knee, the left uh, thigh. And we start to bend forward, forward, forward. You'll feel the weight of the upper body helping to press the left knee down toward the floor. Palms, elbows, forearms, any support system. It's there for you, take it. The more you start to bend over the legs, you'll feel the sits bones start to lift, pointing toward the back of the room. That's good. That means you're lengthening through the low back as you're hinging forward. That's really, really good feeling. Stay for your breath in, full breath out. I'm a minute over, I'm sorry, I have one more pose. Carefully come out of our pigeon, release the legs, you can give them a little shake. We're just gonna take one more forward fold variation and then we'll close. So soles of the feet to touch, diamond shape, uh, kind of between the diamond and a butterfly with the legs. So take your hands, reach them out in front of you, palms face the sky like you're holding a pizza. Now slide your forearms underneath your ankles, palms face up so the weight of your legs are pressing down into the forearms. And then you can use that sort of forklift arm shape to pull the chest down toward the floor keeping a nice long spine the deeper you bend the closer your forehead might get to just resting between the feet your feet make a perfect little pillow for your head curling into yourself for the last breath use your inhale to carefully come out of that bound forward fold. Just take regular seated, easy seat. We'll close with one breath. Reach your arms up overhead, breathe in. And exhale, hands through, heart center. We are finished. Let me know how that felt. There's some, some funky things in there. Um, but thanks for joining me. As always, next week will have to be a Monday. I'll send an email out. Um, and then after that, Tuesday's forever. So <laughs> good to see you all. Let me know again. Text me. Tell me how that was. <laughs> Bye. See you next week, I hope. See ya. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Oh.